All right, perfect problem one for Math 111. Um, this is that paper folding example. We did it in class. Uh, the only difference is in class we folded the paper in half 50 times. Now we're going to fold it in half 100 times. Uh, so the idea is just a regular piece of binder paper. It's 0.1 millimeters thick. Um, each time you fold it in half, the thickness doubles. Right Now you have two pieces of paper there, so it's 0.2 millimeters thick after you do it once and so on. Um, so really what the answer ends up being the thickness is equal to 0.1 times 2 to the 100 millimeters. So you can think about it like 0.1 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 written 100 times. And each one of those 2's are represents one of the doubling of this piece of paper. Um, okay, so the problem is this right here doesn't really have any meaning, right? 0.1 times 2 to the 100th millimeters. We have no idea how thick that is. Um, but we're given some hints in here. I think the first thing you'll want to do is recognize that using one of our rules, 2 to the 100th is the same as 2 to the 10th raised up to the 10th. And the reason I changed it from 2 to the 100 to 2 to the 10th raised up to the 10th is in our hints here it says 2 to the 10th is 1024. But to make our calculations a little easier, let's pretend that 2 to the 10th was just 1,000, not 1,024. Um, and the nice thing about 1,000 is it's 10 to the third power. All right, 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 again is 1,000. So what we can do is using this information here, that 2 to the 10th is 10 to the third, we can say the thickness of our paper is 0.1 times 10 to the third, which is what I wrote instead of 2 to the 10th, to the 10th millimeters. And then if you use one of your rules again, you're like 10 to the third to the 10th, you just multiply these exponents, that's the same as 10 to the 30th millimeters. Um, and from there, to get rid of this 0.1 right here, um, you might have to get a little bit clever. But I think the easiest way to do it is realize that 0.1 is the same as 1 tenth. So 1 tenth times 10 to the 30th is 10 to the 30th divided by 10 millimeters still, which finally we can write is just 10 to the 29th millimeters. Um, okay, so... Things are getting a little bit better here, but still we're in millimeters. We'd like to eventually be in light years here, but we'll just get there one step at a time. Let's see, to go from millimeters into meters, what I want you to do is recognize that there's a thousand millimeters in each meter, and a thousand is 10 to the third. So what we can do is divide this number by 10 to the third to change our unit from millimeters to meters. So that is, we could say this thing, maybe I'll come up here, is 10 to the 29th divided by 10 to the third meters. If that gives you some trouble, pretend this is a number you can kind of picture, like maybe this is 3,000. If this were 3,000 millimeters, and we know there's 1,000 millimeters in each meter, then if you divide by 1,000, you'd be left with just 3 meters, which is 3,000 millimeters. A little bit harder to see with 10 to the 29th, but really the same idea. Um, maybe now we get rid of the fraction. Let's see, you could bring this 10 to the third up to the top. Maybe I'll do that just in this first one. You don't need to show this extra step, but I'll show it once just in case somebody likes to see it that way. See, 10 to the 29th times 10 to the negative third, you add the exponents because the bases are the same, and you get 10 to the 26th meters. Still no real meaning, but now we can go from meters to kilometers in the exact same way we went from millimeters to meters. There's 1,000 meters in one kilometer, so if we have 10 to the 26 meters, we have 10 to the 26th divided by 1,000 kilometers. And that right there is just 10 to the 23rd kilometers at yeah, 26 plus negative 3. Um, all right, kilometers, maybe I go back up to the top, um, are nice, 
but still hard to picture what that means 10 to the 23rd kilometers. Um, but we do know that 10 to the 13th kilometers, so that's a huge number right there, 10 to the 13th. Um, but 10 to the 13 kilometers is one light year. So if we take 10 to the 23rd and divide it by 10 to the 13th, we've now changed our units from kilometers to light years. Maybe LY. <laughs> um, and now we can get rid of this fraction. That's just 10 to the 10th light years. Right, 23 minus 13. Um, 10 to the 10th. Let's see, that's a 1 with 10 zeros after it. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 3, 6, 9, 10 zeros. So let's see, these, that would be a thousand, that would be a million. This is 10 billion light years. Um, to be clear, it's fine if you leave your answer right here, 10 to the 10th light years. But this right here to me has a little bit more meaning. Um, and I don't know if you, most scientists believe that the Big Bang happened what, roughly 10 billion years ago? So this ends up being roughly the radius of our universe, which is kind of crazy. Um, that's how thick a piece of paper would be if you could fold it in half uh, 100 times. So that's the end of the problem.